Okay, so this is Holland. Um, so I take a ferry into Holland, and um, I guess they have the biggest, like, one of the biggest ports in the world or something. Anyway, as we go into Holland, and it took forever to, we went really far inland before we actually got off the boat. It was kind of surprising. I was like, when are we going to get off this boat? Anyway, we get off the boat, and it was exciting for me because, um, I knew there I was, was going to be able to buy weed and it was going to be a country that I can't, that people aren't going to speak English. First thing I did is go to a McDonald's and I guess I don't think the girls there spoke English who were working there and that was kind of exciting. Anyway, first thing I did is I beelined it, it was at Rotterdam, I beelined it and I was like, where's the, where's the, where's the hash place, where's the hash place? And uh, to everybody in the street and they were like, oh yeah, right around the corner. They were like, it was cool, you know. And then I bought like this stick, it looked like a Wrigley Spearmint gum or something, only like half as wide of hash, just as long. And um, I guess it's illegal to smoke weed in public, but I didn't know that, so I just bought a pop can and I was just smoking right there in like some park. And then I rode down south because I was going to ride to Maastricht. I was going to go all the way south as I could. And like another cool thing about Holland is you can get all like the whole countries on bike paths. But the problem with that is the bike paths are their own roads and they're not right next to the real road. Um, so like. I was riding on the highway at one time, but everybody, for a little bit, but everybody was honking at me, so I got on the bike path, and it was a little bit, uh, it took a lot longer to get to cover the same amount of miles, though, as in England, because the bike path is literally on its own road, you have to go, and then it gets an intersection, and it loops around somewhere, and I was stoned, so I was like, where is it going? I kept getting lost, and um, anyway, it took me six days to get across Holland. Um, but I, and I'd camp out like in the trees, like right off the bike path, like between the bike path and the highway, because a lot of times the bike path is right next to the highway. And you know, you could probably see me camping if you were to like to look over right at me, but you couldn't if you were like not looking over. But um, and it was cool because I lay down and I listened to the Holland music, the Dutch music, and Dutch music is like, I really liked it. It was really good music. They had really good taste, like the Dutch music and also the American music that they chose. At that time, they were playing Tina Turner all the time. And their language was really interesting because they would mix a lot of English in, like in all the ads and everybody talking, like Dutch, I mean, those all, all those people are fluent in English, but they would like throw English words and stuff in with Dutch. And I was like, Is, what? Dutch, like half English. And I went and I got the, uh, I was getting French fries and they, they give you like mayonnaise with French fries, but it's like a good kind of mayonnaise. And that was cool. I actually liked it. It was delicious. Um, kind of at the same thing, like bars, you know, little bars right on the side of the road. So I get a beer and like French fries and, and I made it a couple times people like talk to me and stuff, but I was mainly into riding. It was, uh, one thing I noticed about Holland is beautiful place. I mean, Holland is like my favorite country I've ever been to, really. It's kind of like a utopia on earth because they really do know how to work their land. Uh, like, you know, they'd have like a highway and then like the, you know, the exit of the highway going around here. And then a neighborhood here, and then that grass, you'd have like goats grazing and sheep and stuff. They had like, they utilized every square inch of that place. And I'd be riding by, and like everybody in their backyards would have like five different kinds of animals, like normal people. They'd have like goats and deer and pigs and like chickens and everything in their backyard. It was crazy, you know, that I'd be able to look at because I'm on the bike path right next to it. And everybody's playing soccer too. It was like, soccer teams playing everywhere it's a totally crazy national sport there and uh and also in a lot of the times the bike path was right next to the dock um the water uh what do you call them not the dock the water aqueducts that they have there that go way 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 into the country like almost all the way in from the ocean and they are the ocean is higher than the country i was like because the bike path would be like on one part I was riding the bike path and it's like up on the on the side of the canal um, on the top of the bank of the canal is the bike path so I'm riding on the bike path and I'm and I'm as high I'm eye level or higher than all of the houses because I'm looking on one side and the water is below me but and then I look on the other side and there's the land which is even lower than the water and uh, so I, and I'm like eye level with the tops of houses are higher so I'm looking off and I can see way off in the distance over the house top so it was really cool and I always knew, like, Holland is even more densely packed than England, though. Like, I, 
I don't recall ever. It was like basically one big city, as far as I'm concerned. I'm from Colorado, you know, where you go from one town to the next, and there'd be like, well, maybe not so much now, but there'd be like, you know, open space. But there, it's just like one city after another. So basically, you would distinguish the cities by by this this really tall, slender spike, which is like the cathedral that have these really tall towers. So you'd always be able to see out in the distance and be like, oh, okay, that's the town center of the next town, and ride through there. And I rode through one area, which was like, a, it was like the only part I remember of the whole country where it was, I was like going through woods at that point. The bike path went through woods. It was like some kind of a park. It was like, you know, finally no houses, no anything. And that was cool because there's lots of people riding bikes and stuff on there. And, um, and then I rode through and, and saw the tower and went into the town. And I even snapped a photo of myself riding uh, along the road part um it wasn't so hard to find the bike paths though because they'd, they'd have like signs really good signs to show you where the bike paths were um and uh i remember at one point one night i, I camped out literally right right in the middle of a town like where the highway kind of like right in the edge of the town like right when the highway came in kind of between two roads they had a corn crop <laughs> right in the middle of the town so I just like slept in the in the in between the rows of corn, and that was cool because I knew that I was totally stealth there. Um, and uh, so you know I would like lock my bike with my chain, a really good cable, and then I would you know far enough away to where I was camping. So if somebody saw the bike, and then then they wouldn't. And even if they go, oh maybe somebody's camping or something, which nobody would think, they wouldn't even be able to know where I was because I was far enough. Kind of, pretty much. But anyways, um, so it was cool to just like lay there and, you know, know, listen to the music and stir up at the sky and listen to their, you know, music. And even hear cars driving by and know that I'm totally invisible and I'm not paying any extra money on rent. I think that's a cool way to travel, just bike tour and camp out um, and only eat. I was eating uh, like uh, supermarket food. Um, and I don't remember exactly what country. I think mainly like France was when I was doing the supermarket thing. Or, but I would like eat, I'd buy supermarket food and uh, I'd eat like for like an hour. I was eating so much because I'm writing a lot. Um, yeah, it took me a long time to have breakfast because I'd eat so much, like 45 minutes at least. And then I got up and then I... Um, I went across the river at night into uh, Belgium, and there was no checkpoint or anything. It was just like going into another, just crossing a river, and uh, and then I'm in the next country. But I knew I was. It was obvious I was in another country because no more bike paths. Now I'm riding on the road, and then I camped out in Belgium. And the first town I got was in some like, some like suburb place where all the houses were being built. So I just went into a house that was being constructed and slept in there. And then the next day I went and rode into a town in Belgium and rode down the road and I noticed they drive differently in Belgium than in America. In Belgium they'll drive right up behind you like they're going to run you over and then they'll give you like, they'll get way over to the other lane and then drive past. Whereas in America they'll zoom by you and they'll just come by you at the same distance from your bike as they always were. And it seems like in Belgium they actually give you more respect. And then I rode across Belgium. Um, don't really remember much of Belgium other than I went through some town and then I went over like uh, I found myself on the road I was actually realized that I was on a race car track so I guess they closed that road um, um, for when they do the race cars I don't know how, the, how normal cars would drive maybe there's some kind of other detour you can do for when they do the race cars but and at one point Belgium was really densely packed and I, I had trouble finding places to camp because it was really hilly and not, not a whole lot of trees, so at one point I just camped in, like on the other side of a fence in a field of grass, um, basically right next to the road, where any car that passed could actually see me right there. But uh, So I just got up really early the next morning and uh, left. And um, I can't remember how long it took me to go across Belgium, maybe a day or two, not very long. Um, I remember I got money out of a bank that was like outside like the like the teller place was outside that's kind of interesting and then um 
I went into Luxembourg and I rode all the way across Luxembourg. So that'll be the next video.